The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the March 5th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check in on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. We'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question, but you can't call in, we've got you covered. Go ahead and send me an email. Send that off to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any in every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A sea of red is how we begin our day. All the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Not so inside the uh, sectors inside the S&P 500, but let's take a look at them all. You got the Dow down 235, 6 tenths percent, 8 tenths for the S&P, 43 points. 1 and 7 tenths for the Nasdaq, 100, 320. 6 tenths for the Russell, that's about a 13 point move. 1 and 8 tenths for the semis, about about a 90 point move. The trend is down 132, 8 tenths of a cent. You've got gold trade down 2134, that's up eight bucks. Silver's up uh, four cents, trading out at 2403. Lights recruit is up 42 pennies. She's trading at 79.14. Natural gas is flat at 191. And a 30 year treasure up 1.5 ticks, printed out at 120.24. The leader in the clubhouse to the upside is Ov uh, Arrow. Aero Environment Inc. up 37 bucks, 28%. Nice move there. Target is up 17 bucks or 11%. Apogee Therapeutics 17 bucks, 42%. Sai of the Freight Company 17 bucks, 3%. Crystal Biotech 10% or 15 bucks. To the downside, it's Micro Strategy down 184. Super Micro down 71, 6% move there. Broadcom down 42. Service now 40. Mercado Libre off 40. That's about a two and a half percent move to the downside. We got movers and we got shakers. But let's begin our day by trying to pick apart the indices and see what messages they're providing to us. Let's start with the equity future contracts. We'll go ahead and switch screens out here. We'll go over to those white background screens. We're going to take a look at daily and weekly. Along the bottom panel that you're looking at right now are the weekly time frames. You'll see you've got a TD9 count pattern that's going to complete for the ES Mini this week. That suggests price pulling back to its oscillator and change line at 50.28. If you look at the NQ, it's going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count uh, for its weekly time frame this week. It may also generate a Roach Mentum Indicator top. Uh, it is sitting right now basically just below its oscillator and change line. Of course, it's only Tuesday. We're going to need to know what Friday's close is. But right now, that level of support is at the 18,007 level. It closed below that. That suggests move to 17,601. Below that, 17,239. And below that, 16,334. If we take a look at the Dow, just like the NQ, it too is sitting at its oscillator and change line. Potential support. TD9 count that's going to go ahead and complete this week. That green oscillator and change line currently printed at 38,791. Again, if we get a close below that, 38,113 comes into play, 37,483, 37,303, 37,168. Those would be the numbers. The Russell 2000 on a weekly basis, no topping pattern out here other than getting back to a prior resistance level, a prior swing point out there. If the rest of the market moves down, the Russell 2000 likely follows. So you want to watch that 2015 level. That's its weekly oscillator unchanged line. We come and take a look at the daily time frame. So we know about the weekly. 
uh, signals here for the ESNQ and the uh, Dow. Well, you're going to get a confirmed, it looks like you'll get a confirmed wave number seven top today, as well as a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. That suggests that price pulls back. Now, we have two different sets of profiles, unfortunately, for the ES mini. You remember if we were taking, if you caught the update out here, the nine o'clock update, the black background charts show that at the 5052 level, so we've got an agreement there, that is the top of its profile. It's just on the black background charts, it's a bear structure profile profile with 5024 being a uh, the center of that area. But right now, let's just focus on really where price is likely targeting, and that's the 5052 level, the top of its profile. The NQ, on both sets of charts that I have, has the same set of profiles. As we can see, price had closed above the top of that daily profile for more than two consecutive sessions out there, and that's the area that price is likely going to target, and that is at the 17793 level. A close below that would suggest that we have something other than just a counter trend move to the downside. Now, that could just be the ultimate test of support. The ultimate test of support right now for its daily profile would be at 17,531. We are sitting at support, so that says we got to take a look at the intraday charts to so identify whether there's any kind of bottoming signals or not. In the case of the Dow Equity Future contract, it's still waiting for a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator top out there. There's no wave seven top, but price is back inside its profile. And a close blow of 38,920 certainly opens up the doors to a move to 38,645 or 38,370, and even below that, 37,597. In the case of the daily time frame for the Russell 2000, I don't have a topping pattern per se. Price did get back. It tested and rejected its all-time swing point. We're trading below that. Uh, right now, price is testing support. Support is its green oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 2059. A close below that is going to suggest lower price with 2018 being a possible target. That's what's going on. We take a look at the daily equity future contracts. Let's not stop there. Let's go take a look at those cash indice charts and see what kind of signals they are providing us. In this case here, we're just looking at the daily time frame. Turns out, if you take a look at the Dow Jones cash indice, it already has a Rhodes momentum indicator top. It did that right near its all-time high. It did that on the trading day of February 26. Today, we've got a gap to the downside. It's just another confirmation of that level. What we do see out here is a gap. Perhaps price is just going to go target the top of that gap, and that would be up at the 38,618 area. If we take a look at the S&P 500, the S&P 500 today is generating a gap to the downside. That would be a bearish reversal candle, and we also have a three river evening star. So on the cash indice, we've got a confirmed top. In the case of the NDX 100, the gap to the downside confirms a Rhodes momentum indicator top. In the case of Russell 2000, Russell 2000 um, does would need a bearish reversal candle today. Right now, it's a shooting star. It's only 11:14. No idea what it's going to look like at uh, 4 p.m. close out there. But if we did get a bearish reversal candle, that would also confirm a top. Now, in the case of the semis, and this is worth paying attention to. Through, especially throughout the day, there is a gap to the downside. So the low of yesterday was 49.56.15. The high of today, 49.53.96. That creates a little bit of a gap. Well, it turns out that if we take a look at the prior day, that would be Friday. The high of Friday was 49.50 and changed. Again, the low of yesterday, 49.56. We have a island top formation confirming a Rhodes momentum indicator top for the semis. This says be careful. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So as we were going into that break, I mentioned that the semis, they had gapped up yesterday, gapped down today. And at the moment, at least as 1118 in the morning, that has created an island top. Now, an island top is a very bearish candlestick formation. So what do we say here? Well, this is giving us a Rhodes momentum indicator top. And that would suggest that price would pull back at least and test its daily oscillator and change on a 48.16. However, when we take a look at the weekly time frame chart for the semis, what we see out here is this week is likely going to go ahead and form bar number eight eight of a TD9 count. In order to do that, it just simply needs to close above the close of bar number four. The close of bar number four out here on a weekly basis is at the uh, price point of um, 45.67 out there. 45.67, wait a minute here, 45.67.30 is the number. And as long as price closes above that, well, then you at least have successful bar number eight. Then next week, price would need to close above the close of bar number five, and that's at 45.2768 out there. And that would then suggest that price would pull back and test its oscillator and change line, and that's at 45.90. So right now, the first test or likely test or likely outcome would be a move back to the 48.16-ish area. If that level fails and all of the TD9 count uh, uh, signals uh, hold up on the weekly basis, then 45.91 becomes the next price target level. Let's go out to our first caller. It's Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, Steve. It's a little breezy where I'm at, so hopefully it's not too noisy. But I don't hear a thing. Up on my yeah. up on my hike. It's a it's a pretty neat spot. I can see the Sierras from here. They're probably 200 miles away. Oh wow! Uh, Clear day. Yeah, I can see the snow. Yeah, snow. Yeah, well, it's actually kind of cloudy if it's the right conditions, right lighting. You can actually, and of course, they've got a bunch of snow up there, so yeah, uh, working out to see them. But yeah, it's kind of it's just a neat spot. But, yeah, I wish uh, we had a, I wish we had a way to take take your camera or your video while you're doing that, then somehow feed it into the show. That would be cool. But I have no idea what would, what would be required there. But uh, but uh, <laughs> thanks for giving us thanks for giving us you know kind of the visual, uh, if you will. So it's beautiful that you're out there. You're doing something wonderful in nature, and you're calling into the show to ask about Cybane uh, SBSW. Is that correct? Yeah, I just wanted to follow up. We kind of talked about more like upside potential, and I, I closed my little position I had this okay. morning. I just 
what do you have potentially going the other way? I know it has to be something probably longer term chart, but uh, I know it's yes. common talked about something going back a ways around 350 or something. I just wanted to see what you had. Sure. So from the longer term perspective, a great memory out there, what we'd be watching for is the low from November of 2023 on the monthly time frame chart. And the reason that we'd be watching that low, folks, is because that was a TD nine count bottom. And that low is at four bucks, even Steven. And so if we get a close below that, we're 389 right now and we're trading below that. So you're looking for where the next downside target would be. It'd be down at two dollars and thirty two cents. So 232, um, of course, we're assuming that on a monthly basis that this TD9 count pattern is going to fail. But since we're trading below that right now, since we're trading below everything on the daily time frame, that would be support. The same would be true on the weekly time frame. Brent, I would have to say that 232 is the likely price target, you know, at this moment. I'd probably have to go back and take a look at an A to B equals CD pattern on the uh, daily time frame as well, because that might be something else to be paying attention to. Uh, maybe there's one even on the weekly. I don't have the charts pulled back far enough to take a look at. But certainly that uh, $2.32 mark is the area to be paying attention to. Uh, actually, I do have a uh, – well, I'm going to switch charts out here because I know you'll be able to grab this off of the archive if you want to take a look at it. But I am taking a look at a weekly A to B equals CD pattern. It's a small – it's the small A to B equals CD pattern. And uh, that 1 to 1.272 level is at 401. And we're trading just below that right now. Its next expansion level will be down at 64 cents out there. So let, uh, I'm sorry, 241, not 64 cents, two dollars and 41 cents out there. So we got 232 and 241 as some possible areas. What I'm going to do here, Brent, right now is I'm going to look at the larger A to B equals CD to the downside pattern, and I'm looking at the weekly time frame chart just to keep this thing somewhat clean. And the larger pattern, the one to one, geez, that takes us. To negative that takes us to bankrupt so we can't really use that um, out there so now that I know that that's the case so we've got to go with 232 I know that was a little bit of blabbering and I hope that it didn't cause you to trip or or anything along those lines out there but that's what I've got and I don't know if any of that makes sense to you no it does absolutely Steve I, I again, like I said I stepped aside I'll keep watching it has not acted that great considering what gold has done and I've I know they were in other areas, but it's just, yeah, it's interesting to see that. And I don't want to take any more of your time. I just really appreciate it so much. I never hear that crow going over. <laughs> I did. That's a wonderful thing. <laughs> He's talking take to me. He's like, hey, get, get moving, man. <laughs> I love. All right, he's. I, I'm going to turn. I, I can speak crow, okay? Because I I eat it often out there. And uh, crow was saying, wait for two thirty two, Brent. Wait for two thirty two. All right. Thank you so much, Steve. Have a great day. I always appreciate your help. You bet. Thanks so much for calling in. That was Brent in Martinez, California. That's a beautiful thing. You know, as long as we moved over to uh, this set of charts, so to uh, speak, I'm going to move back to the white background charts here momentarily. And what we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and um, start getting into some of the requests that have come out here. And I didn't get to all of them yesterday, so we're going to pick up from yesterday's request. And the first one that we're going to start with is from Nicholas, and that's to take a look at Ford. And Ford is wondering where the resistance levels were. So I was able to at least send out charts to the folks that did uh, write in yesterday that I was unable to get to there so that they would at least have the charts and they could perhaps answer the questions themselves. I'm sure that after Nicholas got this chart, he knew that $12.90 was a key resistance level in the case of Ford. That was tested and rejected yesterday. You've got an inside bar today. That would suggest to me that it's going to make another run for that 1290 level. If you close above 1290, things look pretty good for Ford. Now, on a weekly time frame, its resistance happens to be the dark cloud cover candle that formed on February 16th. That means 1307 is the real number that you want to see price to close above to suggest that it's going to rally further. However, we come back to the monthly time frame chart out there. You can see that this is trading with inside his profile. So here are your resistance levels. Your resistance levels for Ford on the daily time frame is 1290. On the weekly time frame, your resistance level is going to be 1307. And on the monthly time frame, that resistance level is going to be 1350. So if you clear 1350, you're on your way up to the $15 area. So thank you for waiting an extra day to take a look at Ford, Nicholas, and uh, appreciate. We'll look forward to your next request out there. Sandy wrote in. Sandy wanted to take Take a entry, uh, was looking for an entry point into Palantir. PLTR is the uh, ticker symbol. So we take a look at PLTR. 
What we know is that right now it is trading with inside its profile. And it is a wide profile. Right now, price is at the support level, which is at about the 2365. The exact number is 2363. Resistance is 2553. Price tried to take it out. It's been able to do that. The question is, does it close below this 2363 level? If it does, at a minimum, it suggests getting back to your lower swing point out here at December the 21st out there. If price is pulling back with more than 60 million in shares, then odds would favor a move down towards the 1888 level. I'm not saying that price will get down to 1888. In fact, I could get down there. Um, but there is this wide gap that's out there. It's a gap with volume. 421 million shares is what it had gapped up with as an example today. So far, you're at 24 million shares. So that's quite a, a nice sign of strength out there. We come back from this break. We'll finish taking a at Palantir. Try to give Sandy a possible entry area. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the Palantir for Sandy. She's looking for an entry point. And, uh, and this is a complicated uh, set of stock charts. I went ahead and went to our multi time frames out here. Uh, so you've got the monthly time frame that shows that you've got uh, resistance at 2711. 
So you're trading at 2366, and knowing that that could be a substantial resistance level, we have to wonder, is really now, even if I can find an entry point, the time for you to take that, especially when we know on the daily time frame, you've got this consolidation with inside this bearish structured profile. So I just simply throw that out there. You've got to make that decision. If you're asking me, is there any kind of a bottom signal out here on an intraday chart, the answer is yes. And that's 15 minute time frame chart has got a roads momentum indicator bottom, as does the 30 minute time frame chart. And that should lead to a further rally. That further rally should take us up towards the 2397 level. On a 65 minute time frame, I don't have a bottom, nor do I on the 130, nor do I on the 195. So it's just a very two short term time frame charts out here. But I'm going to suggest that you wait for an even deeper pullback with us being so close to that monthly TD9 count breakdown resistance level of 2711. So I hope that helps you out. But if you're looking for an intraday trade or something, you certainly have a bottom signal on the 30 and the 15 minute time frame chart. I doubt that that's what you were looking for, though. Thanks so much for the request out there. Let's get to our next request. This came in yesterday from LB and LB wanted to take a look at URA. I believe I've got those charts up. Let's uh, pull over to those. That should be about right here. So we take a look at URA. All we've got, Lee, is still just simply a consolidation with inside its daily profile. That runs from 2710. Yesterday, price found resistance at the top of that profile, 2869. It's simply a consolidation. Where should you buy? The buy zone is at 2710 to 2763. That's courtesy of the daily time frame. Your question was how much lower? Well, it hasn't broken through the bottom of that profile, so I'm going to go with 2710 at the uh, moment. Um, Bob in Spokane wanted to take a look at ticker symbol G-O-L-D, ran gold out there. And of course, this was from yesterday. And we take a look at, well, that wasn't at UEC. Maybe Bob also wanted, maybe LB wanted UEC as well, and I just simply somehow overlooked that. So in the case of UEC, since that's what's popped up on my screen, you also have a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside its profile level. And that's at 696. If your question was how low can this go, well, it's TD9 count breakout area at 628, has been tested and rejected. That level is held. I would say that's your real key level of support, even though you've got a bullish structured profile there. So I'd say support at 628, resistance at 696 out there. Now let's go take a look at uh, G-O-L-D for Bob in Spoke. Oh, it's not there. What the heck did Stevie do? I don't know, but I know what I can do. I can undo it. Let's go actually put up G-O-L-D, see what it is doing today, and try to give Bob a review. And then we'll go on and take a look at Amazon for G-Man. And Dan from New York, we're going to look at uh, Walgreens Boots. We're going to look at the XLE. We're going to look at the Junior Nugget, Crisp, CRISPR, Walmart. We're going to look at them all. So we take a look at You're going to love this here, Bob, because price right now is trading above its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. That's at 1952. A beautiful TD9 count bottom. Now what this is telling us is that you have a confirmed change in trend period. What's that suggesting? Well, that suggests that price should go target the top of its weekly profile. We're trading above its weekly oscillator and change line. It's a brand new weekly profile. That resistance level is at 1626. Now, at 1603, you're going to get a little bit of a uh, construction zone signal that says we've got some congestion. That's because that's the monthly oscillator and change line. But price should go target that 1603 to 1626 level. We don't see any kind of a topping signal on the daily time frame. We do see an A to B. We'll see it to the upside. So the only caution sign that you've got here, Bob, is that if you did see a bearish reversal candle, that could trigger, that would trigger a Gartley sell pattern. So thank you for waiting an extra day. I hope that helped you out. And as always, thank you for your request. G-Man sent in a request this morning, I believe, was to take a look at Amazon. Amazon yesterday confirmed a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. How to do that? Well, it did that by generating that bearish shooting star candle. However, yesterday, price was above the top of its daily profile, above its green oscillator and change line, and that said it had an overall neutral signal. This morning, we got a new profile out here. So we've got a top. That top again at Roach Bentham Indicator top. And now the new profile says your support levels at 173.06. Now, the interesting thing about this chart here, G Man, is that the new profile to form is above the prior profile. So, from a profile standpoint, this is a bullish message. How does it get bearish? You got to get a close, two closes, two consecutive closes below 173.06. At this stage here, it looks to me like Amazon is just headed back to 173.06. But if you get a close below that, be careful out there. Why? 
why should we be careful? Well, the weekly time frame chart looks like it will confirm a TD. It's going to attempt to confirm a TD nine count top. In order to do that, though, we can't see it go much lower than where it is now. Why? Because price has got to close on Friday above 174.45. We're at 174.51. So watch that 174. Watch watch Friday's close for sure. What happens if we don't get a TD nine count? Price closes below that. Well, then I don't have any kind of a topping signal on the weekly time frame. Maybe there's an A to B equal CD. There is, but that does look to me like it's even close to finishing. If we draw the A to B line out there just approximately, and then I just simply move this over to the C point, let's see how Stevie's eyes are. They're not too shabby out here. So it's close, but I have to say eh, maybe no cigar out there on that completion of that weekly A to B equal CD. But uh, we're going to have to pay close attention to what's really going on on the daily time frame. No topping pattern on the uh, weekly on the on the month on the monthly time frame chart, and you're still trading into its all-time swing point high. Now the volume on that was 83 million shares. You closed in it last month with a hundred with one billion shares. Holy shnikes out there! You know, that really says that it still wants to go test that high, and that high is at 188.65. So how are we going to put all this together? Look, you've got a confirmed daily top no matter how we look at it, and price is likely to get back to the 173.06 level. So watch what happens, how price reacts as it gets down there, G-Man. I hope that that helped you out. We got a request from Dan in New York City. Not New York City, just New York. I don't know if he's in the city or not. But what he was looking for is, hey, what's going on with Walgreens boots? It's now the time to start a long position well if we look at the daily time frame chart it says not so fast why does it say not so fast because that don't have any kind of a bottoming signal out here uh, certainly if there's an a to b equals cd to the downside this thing wants to head much 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 lower out there so we're not even going to put that pattern out here what the uh, daily time frame is telling us is as long as price remains below profile support which is right now at 2158 as long as price remains below a red oscillator and change line currently printed at 2113 this says on the daily time frame dan look at the 1975 level that's a td nine count breakout area the weekly time frame chart says boy it says not so fast the other way what do you mean stevie what i mean is that you're going to go ahead or it looks like you will go ahead or this will go ahead and confirm a td nine count bottom bar number nine completing this week and it will accomplish that as long as price is able to close below 22.24. Now, on a TD9 count bottom, the actual low of the pattern can come on the bar following bar number nine out there. So how I put this together, Dan, since you're looking for an entry area, and since we've got that day, a weekly TD9 count, we're priced back at a support level, you've got a monthly TD9 count. What we'd really like to see here is some kind of bottom pattern on the daily time frame. So what could that be? Well, you're in leg number six, or letter F on my screen out there, and that says you want to get to letter G. So Maybe over the course of the next few days, we get a confirmed wave number seven pattern. And maybe that would be your signal to take a long trade in Walgreens boots. And that would be based upon a daily bottoming signal where we already have what looks like a weekly and a monthly bottom pattern. Steve Rhodes with TFN. Let's look at the XLE, the Junior Nugget, CRISPR, and Walmart. We get back to this trade. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. You still got all U.S. indices trading to the downside. The sectors inside the S&P 500 that are uh, trading to the upside. You got the financial sector up 12 pennies. The energy sector, which we're going to take a look at right now, is up a buck three. The uh, utilities uh, sector is up 41 cents, and the uh, XLP is up 31 pennies out there. So a mixed bag with regard to the sectors inside the S&P 500. We take a look at the XLE. It's got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. That price projection would get us somewhere into the 88, uh, 89 dollar area now that retracement that b to c retracement is less than a 0.618 ordinarily you would do more than a one to one a to b equals c to the upside john is looking for resistance levels well it turns out on the daily time frame you're trading above it right now that's at 86.49 that's the top of its daily profile assuming that price can remain above that for two consecutive sessions we ought to see price start moseying up towards that 88 89 level let's call it 90 bucks uh, even steven why because that's the top of the weekly profile so on a daily you're looking for resistance we don't have anything because price is trading above at 86.49 the weekly time frame chart says the top of the profile which would be resistance at 90 bucks even steven the monthly chart says it's around 89.42 that number will change that's the green offset and change line on the monthly time frame if we pull the daily back a bit further just simply expand out the chart see if there's anything else out there we've got to worry about well you know there certainly is resistance that was a um, hmm. Nah, I'm not even going there with that comment. Sorry, take that back, Stevie. John, I don't have anything else to share with you, um, at least with regard to the XLE. So those are your resistance areas out there. Hope that provided you with the information you were looking for. Joe wants to take a look at the Junior Nugget. His question is where to buy a retracement. That's a great question. I'll do my best. So if we take a look at the Junior Nugget right now, what do we know? It had a TD9 count bottom that formed right back here on the trading day of February the 13th. That area, would, by the way, that volume on that was uh, 3.8 million shares. That area was tested, not completely, but with half the volume, 1.7 million shares. And then price just simply has taken off. You got a change in trend signal yesterday. That change in trend signal is at 27.10. So you're trading lower. 27.10, as long as price closes above that today, Joe, that could be an entry area. Old resistance that could be acting as support. 
If price gets below that and pulls back, well, then we'd be looking at a move back to 2408. That's assuming that we don't see some type of bottoming pattern on an intraday chart out there. We're not looking at the intraday charts right now. A beautiful TD nine count bottom exists on the weekly time frame chart. The uh, monthly time frame chart for Junior Nugget is basically irrelevant, so we won't pay attention to that whatsoever. So you do have resistance out here up at 2860. Your question is where to buy a retracement, and that is really good. So let's take a look at its dance steps out here. Let's try to understand. How does the junior nugget dance? Well, um, you've had three consecutive days to the upside. This might be day number four. We have seen on this chart, I've seen it move as high as six days to the upside. How about to the downside? Well, if we are in the beginning of a new bullish run, which I believe that we are, it'd be nice to go see a bullish run in the junior nugget. In order to do that, Steve is going to have to add some more days here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add, um, let's just add a thousand in. And let's see if we can find some type of bull run. Why are we looking for a bull run? Because we want to understand what the uh, pullback or the retracement periods have been. So as we take a look at Junior Nugget, I see a bull run. It's, it's got all that data. It's slowing me down just a tad. Come on, move, would you? Move. Move, would you? Oh, my goodness. I'm on. These people don't want to wait for you to finish your task out here. I don't know why it's taking so long just to do a thousand days, but it is. So here we can see. Um, so there's a bull run basically ran from March of uh, 2023 up into the middle of April. And there was uh, basically one pullback. It was a two bar pullback during that run. Let's go back a little bit further to another bull run out here. Here's another bull run. What we see are two day, maybe three day retracements out there. So Joe, it was a Joe, it was Joe. Joe, I'm gonna go like this with regard to where to pull back, where to buy a pullback. And that would be if you get two consecutive days to the downside, that really might be the time. This might be more of a time than a pattern thing out there of course time can be a pattern that's what we really were just looking at out there other than that it would be some type of intraday signal and if I pull up a 30 minute time frame chart the 30 minute time frame chart has roach momentum indicator signals suggest price should pull back to 2706 if price closed below 2706 we're headed much lower out there so that's the best that I have at this moment in time let's continue to explore this just continue to write back even if it's daily until we can find that uh, bottom for you so I hope that that helped you out but I think we're looking at a two bar pull back remember just because the candle's red doesn't mean that today is bar number one of that you need to close below yesterday's close in order to get bar number one of those pullbacks out there let's go take a look at crisper for s p inside the tiger's den crsp is the uh, ticker symbol out here we take a look at crisper it has a beautiful td9 count top out there. was that the top um no it was not didn't have a, a TD9 count top out there. It just simply had a wave number seven top. There we go. So it had a wave number seven top. But if price consolidating with inside its profile, your question was just to review uh, CRISPR. So right now you've got support at 8131. That was tested yesterday. That was tested this morning. And that is held. Your resistance out here is the top of that daily profile. And that is up in the 9110 level. If price did close below 8131, by the way, S&P, you'd be looking to move to 7711. If price close below 77.11 that would tell you about a daily change in trend to the downside i don't see that on the weekly twill do, 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 do. it doesn't look like you completed the a to b equals cd but uh my eyes you know you never know so let's actually go measure this thing but it looks pretty pretty much like it has not but let me grab it let's cut paste and assemble come on cut it cut it out there we go and then we get the yeah so no way that this completed an a to b equals cd to the upside um it's trading above profile resistance at a green oscillator and change line. The weekly time frame is bullish. The monthly time frame is trading above resistance as well. It is bullish. So you got a consolidation uh, between uh, the levels I uh, shared with you, 81.31 and 91.10. Not much more than that, S&P. Hope that that provided you with the information you were looking for. Duncan Steve is waiting inside the Tigers. Doesn't it take a look at Walmart out here looking to uh, find a long-term position? Boy, you're going to need a pretty good pullback. So here's what we know at this stage of the game. Let's take Take a look at the daily time frame chart for Walmart. Why are we looking at the daily time frame chart? What Stevie wants to see is has Walmart broken through the bottom of any daily profiles on the move up since the CD9 count bottom in December, December 11th to be exact? And the answer to that question is no, it has not. So, Duncan, I would have to say that the, any entry point from a longer term standpoint inside of Walmart would be a test of the bottom of its profile. Now, right now we're trading about the top of its profile out there, but uh, we can see that three days. 
days ago. Price had pulled back, basically tested it. Didn't get all the way down there because the bottom of that profile is 58.17. It did get down to 58.20 out there. So don't set it exactly 58.17 to the bottom of any profile, even though that can work out there. Um, uh, so that's what I would say with regard to Walmart and take a look at the daily time frame. We look at the weekly time frame. I don't see any kind of a topping signal, and it looks bullish here, and it looks bullish on the monthly time frame as well. So about the best pattern that I can find for you right now, Duncan, is to uh, make an entry into Walmart and a test of support, and that support being the bottom of its daily profile. Marvin writes in, he wants to take a look at an entry point into MSTR out here. So let's pull up those screens, see if we can figure this out here. So Monster, a micro strategy that is, is pulling back right now and it has tested the top of its daily profile. That could be one level of support. That's at 1087.17. We'll finish taking a look at micro strategy to come back from this break. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back. We're looking at the micro strategy for Marvin. He's looking for an entry point. At this stage here in the daily time frame, we do not have any kind of a topping pattern. And so prices pulled back the first level of support. That was the bot. That was the top of its daily profile. And that was at 1,087. Today's low was 1,088 out there. So that may be an entry point out here. 
If we take a look at a 30 minute time frame, what are our other entry points? That would be at 1,018, 984, and 882 out there. So we've got to deal with you know, some pretty large numbers. If we look at the 30 minute time frame chart, Marvin, we've got a road to indicator top that formed here at 1030 this morning. But what price is doing is pulling back in this gap. This gap here, this is the one from 10 o'clock yesterday morning out there. And that had volume on that gap of 600,000 shares. And then that last bar, the one that closed at 1130, 300,000 shares. So you're pulling back on lighter volume. It hasn't actually completely tested that gap. In order to do that, it would need to at least get down to 1,080. So that's about the best that I can provide to you on MicroStrategy. I hope that information helped you out. The other thing to do would be to consider buying MicroStrategy after a two-bar pullback out there. So why don't you wait on that one? Let's see if you get a, a second lower uh, close tomorrow, and that might be your entry point into this instrument. We got a request from David H. to take a look at Snowflake out here. Snowflake looks awfully, awfully bad out here. I don't see any kind of daily bottom signal. In fact, the daily chart says, hey, I'd love to go down and touch 159.51. That's a TD9 count breakout level. It's broken through two of its last breakouts, so no telling whether 159.51 will hold, but that is the target. On a weekly basis, price says, I don't know what you're talking about getting down to 159. Where I'd like to go is 142.44. With price being below profile levels out there, that's what that looks like to Stevie. Not enough time has passed on the monthly time frame chart for us to take a look at that finally uh let's take a quick peek at the etfs the uh the equal weighted etfs what are they signaling to us well in the case of the Qs, they're signaling that you've got a top in the case of the uh, s p 500 it says not so fast the e-mini dow that says we've got a top in place as well. Folks, stay tuned for all the great programming. Thanks for joining me on Terrific Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you again on wonderful Wednesday. Take care and be safe out there.